Hello students, let's start our class. Today, we are going to discuss a new chapter from your economics. The name of the chapter is Globalization and the Indian Economy. Production across countries. Trade was a main channel connecting distant countries. Large companies which are now called multinational corporations play a major role in trade. An MNC is a company that owns or controls production in more than one nation. MNCs set up offices and factories for productions in regions where they can get cheap labors and other resources so that company can earn get a profit. Interlinking production across countries. The money that is spent to buy assets such as land, building, machines and other equipment is called investment. An investment made by MNCs is called foreign investment. MNCs are exerting a strong influence on production at this distance locations. As a result, production in this widely dispersed location is getting interlinked. Dear students, there are a variety of ways as mentioned below in which MNC are spreading their productions and interacting with local producers in various countries across the globe by setting up partnership with local companies, by using the local companies for suppliers, by closely competing with the local companies or buying them up. MNCs set up production jointly with local companies which benefit local companies in the following ways. First, MNCs can provide money for additional investments like buying new machines for faster productions. Second, MNCs might bring with them the latest technology for production. Foreign trade and integration of markets. Foreign trade creates an opportunity for the producer to reach beyond the domestic market. Producer can sell their products not only in markets located within the country, but can also compete in markets located in other countries of the world. Similarly, buyers have the option to choose among various goods beyond domestically produced goods. Thus, foreign trade results in connecting the markets or integration of markets in different countries. Dear students, now we are going to discuss some important questions from this portion. Number one, what are MNCs? An MNC is a company that owns or controls production in more than one nation. These companies set up offices and factories for production in regions where they can get cheap labor and other resources. This is done to ensure that the cost of production remains low and MNCs can earn greater profits. Second, what do you mean by investment? An investment is an asset or item acquired with a goal of generating income or recognition. In an economic outlook, an investment is the purchase of goods that are not consumed today but are used in the future to generate wealth. In finance, an investment is a financial asset brought with the idea that the asset will provide income further or will later be sold at a 
higher cost price for a profit. Investment is elucidated and defined as an addition to the stockpile of physical capital, such as machinery, buildings, roads, etc. Question number three What is meant by foreign investment? Investment from one country into another country that involves establishing operation or acquiring tangible assets including stacks in other businesses are called as foreign investments. It is generally done by multinational companies rather than a country's government. Question number four. Mention three ways in which MNC are spreading their production unit across the globe. Answer is by setting up partnership with local companies the benefit to the local company of such joint production is twofold by closely competing with local companies or buying them up by using local companies for supply large MNCs in developed countries place orders for production with small producers which are supplied to MNCs and sell this under their own brand names to customers. Question number five. Explain the three conditions that determine MNCs setting up productions in other countries. Answer is availability, skilled and unskilled labor. The laws of a country relating to setting up production and proximity of the markets are also crucial factors in determining the setup of production. Then last one, closeness to market. Thank you students. Have a nice day.